Hey everybody, Brent Florica here. Welcome back to episode 10 of Sketchbook B. 10 episodes already, crazy. Today I am super, super excited to bring to you the next installment in my robot animal combination series um, based on kind of the, the vibe of Mortal Engines. Uh, the Robofish one um, was a, a big success. I really enjoyed that one. So I got some good suggestions on the last video for some to do um, in the future and for today I'm going to be attempting a Robo Rhino concept and I am so pumped with how this turned out. Can't wait to show it to you and, and let you see how all of this came together and uh, what's really um, exciting about this whole thing is that I finally got my hands on a digital tablet right here. This baby right here. The Huion Huion, however you say it, Canvas 13. Um, this thing has been so much fun. Got it probably close to a month ago now, and uh, it's taken me a while just kind of playing around with it and figuring out my brush settings and stuff. But uh, this was kind of the first piece that I seriously attempted with it um, from start to finish in any kind of like a polished sort of way. So. Um, yeah, I wanted to share that on the channel with you all, and uh, you can let me know in the comments how I did. Hope you uh, enjoy the results as much as I did. Anyway, without further ado, why don't we get stuck into it? I'm going to speed through the inking stage here because the video quality wasn't so great, but I started screen capturing for the coloring stage, so it does get better. Please bear with me. I won't have that problem in future videos. Basically, uh, this step consisted of one layer of just roughing out the basic rhino shape with pencil, then a second pencil layer, refining the shape, uh, the armor plating, and the details for the robot aspects of the uh, Robo Rhino. And then finally putting down another layer over it with an ink brush that I've been refining for the last few weeks, <laughs> trying to uh, draw smooth, clean lines, and also vary my line thickness for more visual appeal. This next step is called flatting, and while somewhat boring and tedious, is a very important step in digital coloring because it makes changing large areas of color much easier later on, makes it a lot easier to just grab whole areas um, with the magic wand tool, and uh, basically it's it's like a child would color. You're, you're trying to stay within the lines and you're just putting down one tone, no gradients, no highlights and shadows, just one flat color. Therefore, it's called flatting. Nice and straightforward. Once all the colors are in place, I add another layer on top of the flats layer and begin the fun coloring part, also known as rendering. This involves, you know, shadows, highlights, some effects for the lighting panels, flames and smoke. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed my leap into digital drawing. I I've been experimenting with the, the brushes and uh, different textures and stuff that I can achieve with, with the digital. And uh, you know what, I think this is going to help me take a great leap forward as an artist. And uh, I'm really excited to see where this is gonna go. The, the journey of creative improvement continues. Make sure if you're enjoying this process and uh, you maybe have an idea for another robot animal combination that would work well, please uh, comment below with that suggestion. I would love to uh, take a look at that. I do read all the comments and uh, I would definitely give consideration to any suggestions and maybe uh, I'll do them in the future. Also, uh, please do consider giving a like and maybe even a pound on the subscribe button and uh, help me hit my 50 subscriber goal.
So my uh, Robo Rhino City, what can I tell you about it? I pictured it as a big lumbering mass, armored, powerful, with massive furnaces burning the fuel for the independent engines powering the front and rear legs. Similar to an airplane, the important people um, would reside in the head of the Rhino with all the noise and smoke behind them. Rhinos are kind of like nature's tank, so I started thinking of this as kind of a military style city uh, with a large landing pad up top for airships and um, access down in the feet for vehicles to enter and exit from. I pictured them kind of entering at the feet and going up uh, these big elevator lifts through the legs up into the main body where maybe there's a big warehouse or you know some kind of massive hangar facility where they keep all of their armada. Um, the horn then would be used as basically a battering ram as you know it normally would in nature and uh, the jaw also I, I put a hinge on it so you know it could swallow up smaller cities for resources um, as you know the, the predator cities of mortal engines do and uh, you know most of the, the buildings and communication towers and such are on the top between the large exhaust towers. You know, I just I love the storytelling and world building aspects of these drawings. It's just so much fun to think about the purposes for each part of this thing, and uh, you know how it could function, how it could work. So I hope you enjoy it too. And uh, you know we're coming up here to the very end of it, so uh, I hope you enjoy the reveal. Thanks for joining me at Sketchbook B. Please like, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoyed your time here. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss out on new episodes. Also, feel free to click on the links to check out my other content. That's all for now. See you next time.